guys we have known for a while now that this year that is in 2018 we will be getting a dragon ball super movie and march 25th will mark the end of super with episode 131 but wait i'll have to say that again with some changes because of the latest amazing news that we just got March 25th will not mark the end of Dragon Ball Super, but only the first phase of Dragon Ball Super. The first uninterrupted run will come to a close. We will go on a break, but the latest news at the very least confirms that the story of Dragon Ball Super will be continuing. And we got all kinds of hints that is indirectly telling us that they will utilize the break to resume the anime series and this time they'll be back without the many flaws, with 7 star animation, story and every single aspect. For further details on this, keep watching this video, if you like it make sure to give a thumbs up, if you don't, please do comment below and let me know what you want from us to keep you entertained. Now, we got a few things here, movie title, a release date, plot idea, and most importantly, a statement from the man, Akira Toriyama. The title of the movie for the first time will have Dragon Ball Super in it. All of the last two movies, Battle of Gods and Resurrection F were to do with DBS story, the movie title was marketed as Dragon Ball Z. The movie will be released December 14th, 2018 and sure as hell, the original writer Akira Toriyama will lead the team. Now right here, you might say, we already knew that a movie is coming later this year, so why are you using that to say Super will continue confirm? Well, we do also have a statement from Akira Toriyama where we got a lot of positive hints, we'll be taking a look at that shortly. But first, you will see the reasoning with the official announcement. So previously we did know a movie was coming out. But what we did not know was what it was gonna be about. For example, Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan was a Dragon Ball Z movie. But like almost all other DBZ movies, it didn't have any direct connection with an arc or the story of DBZ. In fact, there would appear contradictions if you try to fit those movies right in the series. But brothers, this movie will directly follow the story of Dragon Ball Super, immediately follow up from the ending of episode 131. This is a part of the official story and there you go, 100% confirmation that Dragon Ball Super is continuing. They are just changing the version from anime to movies. Meaning a new fan can literally watch the first two movies, skip the first two arcs if they want because it's kind of awful, then watch the rest of the DBS arcs and then watch the upcoming movie. It's an amazing way of telling the story using both series and movies as a combination. However, at the same freaking time we got strong hints and to me, it was like an indirect confirmation coming from Akira Toriyama that the anime series itself is only taking a break. So first, let's check out what Toriyama said. The Dragon Ball Super movie this time will be the next story in the series currently airing on TV. It will be an episode of Forgetting Our Breath from the climax of the Tournament of Power with the universe's existence on the line, with the content that will give a little better understanding about Frieza and the Saiyans, which I hadn't properly depicted up till now, and leading to a mighty foe set for the occasion, which I think has it shaping up to be a really enjoyable story. As with 2013's Battle of Gods and the last outing Resurrection F, I've written the story myself and I've had the privilege of drawing lots of design illustrations as well. The fact is while I'm just as busy as ever, as long as I'm not doing a serial, I have plenty of free time to think about the animated version which has completely hands off about before. So please look forward to it. Now then, the animated version on the TV will be ending for the time being. 
But the very popular Dragon Ball Super comic drawn by Toyotaro on sale now up to Volume 5 will keep on going as is. I think there will be story developments different from the TV show and the movie so please look forward to that as well. I'll be too. Akira Toriyama Note how he says that the TV version is ending for the time being? Now he's the goddamn creator and he very well knows all the insider infos. He knows the series didn't end to be followed up with a final movie which is why he says it's ending for the time being. Also looks like he also is appreciating the break as it'll give them some time to get everything organized and be more involved with the animation team. On the other hand, hell yeah, we also got some more ideas about the plot and it'll have something to do with Frieza too. And standing two episodes apart from the final episode, knowing the spoilers, spoiler alert for all the Narmis, we know Frieza will be the last man standing of Universe 7. This makes me all excited and I can't help but think of some sick Dragon Ball Super ending for this time. Also, given they're gonna follow up, they might actually end it with a cliffhanger. Now, I don't think that they will go extreme and end it without concluding the tournament. That blue ball will be way too painful for the fans to handle. However, something after the tournament or the outcome of it might keep us the fans on the edge of our seats, absolutely till the movie comes out. And that sounds like an amazing marketing plan to convert anime watchers into going to the theaters. That's surprising coming from Toei. Although it follows the DBS story, sounds like it might have a lot to do with the past, with the history too. The movie will take place in the current timeline but they'll figure out a way to add some historic value. The possibilities range from just a simple long flashback or vision to even time traveling. What I like about the things Toriyama said, meaning exploring the past and that he will expand the relation between Frieza and the Saiyans even more, is the fact that it'll not only be a fun movie for DBS, but it'll also enrich Dragon Ball Z, add more meaning and layers of depth to it. Even more amazingly, the movie plot is made in a way so that the hardcore Dragon Ball Z fans who for whatever reason like waiting for English dub didn't watch Super yet, will still have a reason to watch it, because the story of the movie has to do with a lot of Dragon Ball's fundamentals. I think DBS has been setting this up bit by bit. We did see a flashback sequence where Beerus came to visit King Vegeta and Kid Vegeta witnessed it. Our interest to take a look back has been built over the series. Also there was something said about Beerus knowing or approving Frieza destroying planet Vegeta. I wouldn't even be surprised if the movie gives us some of Frieza's perspective and show how he became the monster he is. When it comes to good and bad, Dragon Ball don't do it like black and white. Most of Goku's friends were once bad guys. The story sees good in bad. We would we'd be able to speculate more on that after the next two episodes as to what the movie might be about. You can still expect to know about the Saiyan Yamoshi and stuff like that though. However, at the end of the video, I'd like to make it very clear that officially only the movie has been confirmed and the fact that the movie will be following the story of DBS anime series, in that way Dragon Ball Super is not ending. When it comes to the series, nothing has been officially confirmed, but from the sound of it, the series is also expected to come back after a break. I'm just making it clear that the series continuing part is a speculation type of discussion with the fans because I see a lot of people picking prediction videos and claim that I'm spreading misinformation and they go like 
follow me, I'm the only credible source. And that's 90% of their videos, not the actual freaking content. Well, bitches, learn the difference between fake news and predictions. Guys, what do you think about all this? Comment your opinion down below. See you in the next Dragon Ball Super video.